Hello and welcome to another Year of the Dark Paw Tower. And uh, today we're going to be doing the Skyfire one, which I believe is number eight for August 2024. Uh, I already got the key. It's, you know, you go to the tower, you go to the floor, you get the key, you could click it, and then uh, it gives you this. The Broken Key of Fire, so that's the, the name of this, the Oasis of Fire probably. Uh, we need to inspect Disturbed Nest, kill a mob, inspect a derp, disturbed Nest, kill a mob, so on and so on. Now, I got my, uh, my bar right here, so let me see if I can, uh, where is my tracking? I guess I put it there. Is there, like, a Disturbed Nest? <laughs> like, I don't know what I'm looking for here. Alright, so I guess uh, it's just pretty much go out and find it in the zone. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to double invis. So we don't aggro all this low level stuff, right? This is uh, all low level stuff. And uh, let's go start looking here. So, let's just go straight. Uh, but I, I will be doing this again at, uh, I guess, level 90 on the Hobbs and Friends series. Uh, but that video won't come out for a while. I'm going to put this one out sooner than later. So we're just going to kind of like just run straight. And I'm going to look at tracking again. Sometimes like things fall on tracking. Sometimes they don't. Doesn't look like that is a thing today. Harbinger of Flame is up. All right, let's see here. Just keep going straight. Obviously, uh, somewhere in this zone is what we're looking for. Oh crap, <laughs> that's a lot of mobs. Uh, let's see here. Uh, nothing there. Bottomless Devourer. There's the Lake of Fire. Where are we at now? Is, let me check and see if EQ Resource has a map for this. All right, right in front of me, I think I see what we're looking for here. Some like rocks and then Ravenous Devourer. So make sure everybody walks over that nonsense. And we instantly kill it. All right, we got an enraged wyvern coming right at us. All right, got him. That was easy enough. Not sure what that sound is. All right, so uh, we got the keys of blades. Everybody gets one of these. Elb. Stasi. Voxel. Are they not accepting these? What is going on here? <laughs> it seems like I got a lot of them. Uh, no. Aldridge. Ketka. Soldana. Stasi. And Voxel. Looks like everybody has one now. Alright, so I did look up on, uh, Key resource. There isn't the other one is right over here in this general area. So, uh, thanks to Iki Resource for posting a map on uh, how to do this. And then a quick little jaunt over this way. And we should be able to find it. Hopefully, everybody got all credit for that. I'll, I'll have to fix it after the fact, but it doesn't seem like this is difficult to fix like uh, some of the other ones. All right, and then should be right, like right over the mountain here. Oh, I'm here. Just to make sure Elder to Gold's not up. That thing is annoying. All right, so it should be like right here. According to their map. I do not see it. Let's see here. It's gotten dark and now I can't see anything. 
There it is, right there. All right, task stage complete. It says kill a ravenous. There it is. All right, and then kill an enraged wyvern. Right there. Now, these characters are 125, and as you can see, this stuff is just absolutely melting. Uh, so, Holdridge, Kedka, Nov, Sildana, Stasi, and a Voxel. All right. Now we need to go to the last nest, which is like right there. So, sure we can go in that direction. There we go. And then uh, if they don't have it, I'll just I'll just fix it at the end. <laughs> all right, before we go get the uh, do the key, and then uh, I'm assuming that's all we got to do. It's fairly easy compared to like some of the ones, right? Right, the one where you had to go find uh, the piles of rocks and click the thing. That was oh my god, that was tedious. This one's uh, pretty good. Maybe they made some changes after getting feedback on some of them. I don't know, but. Some of these are uh, fairly easy now. All right, and I think it's like right on the other side of the river here. That's right here. Go, there there's the ravenous devourer. Make sure everybody gets inside the circle. One shot him. guy here get him eliminated I don't even have you on the right hop bar do I all right that gives us the broken key bidding of fire so Holdridge Katka no Sildana Stasi and Voxel there we go so repair the key everybody should have repair the key right Perfect. So I'm going to just repair my key. So I find a bag that I can use. Hold on, let's move away from there. If someone complains that we killed it while not paying attention. All right, there we go. And where are the key parts? So there's key part one. Two. Key part three. Combine those together. Now we get another red key, which is the repaired key of fire. We'll go ahead and click that. And we're going to get the Oasis of Fire. So we get uh, 1200 platinum, 21A, 10 tokens, and 2% experience. And uh, the Oasis of Fire. So we're going to go on our campfire. All right, we're at the door, so uh, we're just going to click in here and do this, whatever this mission is. So click on. Before I zone the last character, and I've never noticed these before, but it looks like there's numbers by the door to tell you what door it is. If not, I didn't, I've didn't. i never noticed that before, but that's awesome. All right, everybody is inside the instance now, and we can need to investigate a pile of weapons. So there's some pile of weapons over there, pile of weapons over there. Just walk over that. Maybe these ones over here? I don't know. There we go. Defeat the dervishes. Alright. So I'm going to come back over here. These are all the same. Defeat the whirling dervish. What are Hold on. I don't want to pull the wrong thing because it'll mess up the whole entire... Thing. All right, there is a whirling dervish somewhere. Is it like in the lava? All right. I'm sure I just messed this whole entire thing up. Killing this guy. Because I don't see any... Like dervish at all. Oh, 
Okay, now it says... I mean, this is a little bit weird. All right, there we go. What attacking place? Uh, there we go, that one. All right, I have my guys over here in this corner just so that I'm not like having issues with them. Easy enough, like this is like absolute trivial content at this point for this group. Okay, just get to the weapons. I mean, look at all these mobs on tracking. Where are they at? <laughs> like, that's the. That's the weird thing. Uh, I'm confused significantly here. All right, investigated another pile of weapons. I don't see any over here. It's that one right there. Go. And I would assume this is the next one. We have to kill the wyvern next. So that's four mobs. These typically only have four mobs you gotta kill. Investigate the pile of weapons. <laughs> pile of weapons. Alright, defeat the slumbering wyvern. Alright. So I'm assuming he's gonna have some kind of AoE. Let's uh, turn him like that. Uh, of course, I have Peton on. <laughs> it didn't work out very well. All right, I should be able to pull it off of them. There's an Awoken Blade Storm. All right, I'm just gonna burn. I mean, I can kill them after the fact. There we go. That's gone. Let's kill these. All right, so we get to 21 AA, 2% experience, and. Uh, it wasn't too bad, right? Just a matter of figuring what you had to walk on top of, and, well, the names of the mobs don't match the quest description, which is a little weird, because if you look at tracking, the whirling dervishes are still up, so, I don't know if, like, there's, like, a, it's, like, one of those kind of quests where you get, like, multiple, multiple things, and this is just what we picked, but I would assume they're, like, under the floor or something, if I... I'm like looking there, I can see outside the room. At the bottom of the screen there. I don't know. Let's go see what the item is. I have no idea, so uh kick a task. Kick everybody out of the group. Alright, so we're down here at the bottom at the merchant. Let's see what she's got now. So what did she have before? I think last time it was an earring. So I know it was a ring last time, so there's a cloak, there's a band, there's a ring. And, oh, it's a belt! Alright, so... It is a belt. That is nice. That, is, <laughs> that totally makes, uh, makes the belts on uh, Teak completely useless, so that's kind of nice. Uh, so... Let's look and see how much of an upgrade this is. So over my belt, which is a tier one belt, it is a uh, almost 700 point upgrade. Uh, I'm lo I lose some heroic stats, but I don't think it's that big a deal. What am I, what's the uh, crippling slicer, which is a slow. So it's the slow belt there. Is there multiple belts? Like. Do you get to choose? There are three belts. Wow. Okay. So there is a 
There's a Brilliant Belt, which gives you the increased spell damage, right? And then there's the Erudite Belt, which gives you the additional damage. So that is fantastic. Uh, definitely gonna have to buy that. I'll, probably, I'll go with the, uh, the, sn the Slowing Belt for my uh, Paladin here, because that is definitely <laughs> the best option I got, since I don't have uh, the Tier 3 uh, Tinkered 1. But... There we go. That is the uh, Oasis of Fire. And that is how you do the, the key quest and how you do the uh, mission. So very easy, very simple. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please have a fantastic day.